Hey guys, so this was my first month with these new goals, joy, self-love, and purpose. And uh, first up, joy. Um, what was really cool was I allowed myself to just play games and have fun. I got to spend a lot of time with my dad, which was really great. We really bonded this month because um, he likes games and we were able to get exercise together in the morning. Um, also played, you know, like um, hung out with friends, went to the beach. There was like a triathlon event uh, that my friends and I just self-organized and stuff and that was really cool too. Um, another thing that happened was, you know, there was like these mixers um, for the Theme Entertainment Association and had a lot of fun with that too. We also had this like event at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, yeah, I'm getting really good at photography. I think also what I want to mention is I'm getting good at photography and it feels effortless. You know, I'm just doing it for fun and I like it. Next, we'll talk about self-love, and uh, I was really focused on my health this month. Um, I even signed up for a new gym membership plan where I uh, went swimming and stuff. This is what you're looking at. Um, I'm taking pictures of myself every day, and I'm trying to document the process. There's really not much improvement, but, you know, over maybe six months, you know, I think we'll notice a difference. Uh, next is life of purpose. And uh, what I was really doing is, um, you know, trying to see who needs me. And some examples were sometimes I would redo an artwork a couple times and take a lot of time on the artwork for customers because I'm thinking not about like making money and like doing it quick quickly, but like, hey, like I want to really give them something good. So, you know, it's about quality. And these are just other sketches I, I did for fun. I just put it in here. It doesn't really have to do with purpose, really. <laughs> okay, so some new YouTube videos uh, I came out um, and these were some videos that were meant to help people and I think they're really great. And I did this how to make brushes video and this is for my name painting students. And you know, you know, you could keep it secret but I really, and maybe like I'll get competition because people will learn like my techniques but it, my my thing was to help people. and. It was interesting being generous. And this is another video called History of Legend Brush. And I talked about how I made my money and how I built my business. And all my secrets and stuff are, are put out there. And this month, I think helping people was really gen. I was really generous and stuff. And, you know, it was kind of strange, but it felt good. Okay, and this is another video with my clients. And I'm letting them know what to expect. And I spent some time trying to be really honest and prepare them and stuff. So one of the bad things that happened this month was there was like this huge monitor debacle where I had to return like three monitors and tried like five different cables because it just kept on fucking up, right? It was super annoying. Alright, what did I learn from that? Um, I think what I learned was to just take it one step at a time and I was spending way too much time like doing research and stuff. Whereas what I needed to do was just take the plunge and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but just navigate through it, you know, taking it one step at a time, like buy this monitor, try it out. If it doesn't work, re uh, troubleshoot it, do the next step, return it, buy another monitor, troubleshoot it, ask tech to support. If it doesn't work, get this cable. If that doesn't work, return it, do it again. It's like. There wasn't like a single answer. I couldn't find like the right, there's not always the right answer for everything. And I just needed to just take it one step at a time. All right, so that's over with. First week of August, right now it's August 7th, was crap, it was abs, utter crap, okay? Tons of fighting with parents, why? Um, well, you know, you can attribute to lots of reasons, right? But anyways, I, I set the intention, right, to, um, to, to have like these more, instead of joy, love, and purpose, it was like I want to reach my full potential, I want to have superpowers, you know, like super strength and just do it, which is like, um, you know, more of an aggressive, right, thing. It just didn't work out. Like, it didn't work. I should stick with joy, love, and purpose. Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's my original intention. The whole being aggressive and being the best and being whole, really successful and making a lot of money 
Those type of mindsets are the mindsets I've always had in high school and college. And I've discovered that those type of mindsets can be tiring, lonely, shit like that. Um, okay, so there's two questions I, I, I want to ask. There's like so many things going on this month, right? What, when do I feel most like a man, all right? Why I feel most like a man, I guess this goes back to the monitor story I just told you. I feel most like a man when I'm afraid to do something and I go do it anyways. Uh, kind of like, you know, when you're asking a girl out or saying, talking to a girl you don't know. When I, when I used to pick up girls, I, I felt like a man because I was afraid of doing something else. I overcame my fear. And it's kind of a tricky topic because there's like a lot of misogyny and objectification of women involved meant associated with, uh, you know, picking up chicks. But um, yeah, regardless, the whole facing your fears thing, I think is terrific. It makes me feel so alive. Navigating through uncertain, certain through uncertainty with calmness and grace. I, I love that. You know, I really admire people who are able to do that. I think that's 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 masculine energy. Not picking fights. There has been some people this month I've encountered that when they're talking to me, I feel like they're being really aggressive and they want to pick a fight, kind of. And it kind of feels like it's kind of annoying, kind of like a dog. Like just barking, but you know if you wanted to like cripple and kill the dog, you could. It's not like a powerful dog. It's just really loud. You know, you won't mistake that dog's bark with a lion's roar. No matter how loud that dog barks, it won't become a lion, right? How 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 does a dog become a lion? No, through through. How how would you become a lion, right? Through. That pal. Well, no, no, I don't know. Another thing I, I thought of was like, you know, to have to desire power for the sake of power itself would be just be ego. Ego. But let's say a, a, you want your dog and you want to become a lion, and that's through what like feeding, exercise, growing internally, like not not by practicing your bark or your roar. You know, you don't become a lion by practicing roaring. You become bigger and stronger through eating and, I don't know, um, time. I was just thinking that today, like trees, you know, like the tree, the strongest trees. What are the strong, sturdiest trees? They're not the tallest trees. You know, it doesn't matter how tall they are. The sturdy the tree is, sturdier the tree is, the, the deeper the roots are. And I think that for me, if I have a really strong purpose, right, th that's th those are like my roots. And that's what would give me power, that resiliency. And another thing is, something I admire, like that I, I really aspire to be, is to be a guy, right, or a man who's, who accepts losing, like not always winning. Uh, like this month, I've been learning to take the short end of a stick, you know, by helping others, you know, having a purpose. And it actually felt strange. I felt generous and gracious, and it resulted in a more chill, relaxed personality. And I don't think by giving up, you're not weak, but it's almost like you're strong and resilient by saying that it's okay to concede and letting the other person take more. Yeah, that's, that's just my experience, okay? That's my experience. It just feels so much more liberating that way.